Hey everyone, so in this video, we will see what is model inheritance in Django framework. So if you know the concept inheritance in Python, then this is the identical with that. So there are mainly three types of inheritance. So what will be the agenda? So we will see a line by line explanation of this model. Also, I'll sh show you the live example. And then at the end, we'll see what is the difference between these three models. Okay. So now let's go and check what is abstract base class inheritance. So the, as the name suggests, like uh, we will have uh, abstract base class. So what we will do uh, our base class in our base class, we will assign one property abstract is equal to two in a meta class. So that uh, that class will not get, get created into our database table. But whatever table, whatever uh, model which is inheriting that base class that can access the properties of the table. So we we are just abstracting the abstract. We are just doing the abstraction. Uh, so as you can see in this example, uh, we have added one property abstract is equal to true into this parent base class parent or base class, which is contact info uh, base class. And this customer and staff uh, classes are inheriting the contact info class. Okay, so what what will happen is uh, this this class will not uh, will not get created. Even we can't add this class into our admin.py file. We can't register this because this is uh, defined as an abstract is equal to true. Okay, so now let's let me go into my VS code. I'll show you live. Uh, so as as you can see, this is uh, we, this project I have already created and we are uh, having one app my app into that project so now I will I will just uh, uncomment this and uh, now I will register this model so let me try to register this three models okay I also try to register this let's see what happened so I will also register this contact info and uh, now I'll just paste this and uh, now I'll just add this. So as uh, now let me make migrations. Okay, so as you can see, you got one thing that is the model contact info is abstract. So you can't uh, register that with an admin. Okay, so we need we, we are not able to register that contact info class. So now I'll just uh, remove that and I'll just uh, do make migrations again. So I think that uh, class also got migrated. So let me do make, let me migrate those uh, classes. Okay. So I have already added that classes. So I just run my server and I'll just go into my admin panel. And as you can see, we got two classes uh, created that is customer and staff class. So this is the thing uh, for this abstract base class model inheritance. Now I'll go into second, which is multi table inheritance. So what will happen in this kind of inheritance is uh, whatever child class is inheriting the parent parent class, uh, both the table will get created and uh, that uh, that that uh, we can uh, query those tables individually so let's go into the example so this is the parent class place and also this re restaurant class is inheriting the place uh, base class okay so both the table will get created into the database uh, okay so this is the main difference between abstract base class and multi table and uh, multi table uh, model inheritance uh, so in this both the table will get created uh, in abstract base class only the uh, child table which is inheriting the base class which will get created and now i'll not create the uh, add the code into my vs code for this i hope you understood the difference now i'll go into the third one which is proxy model inheritance so this is the one kind of inheritance uh, in which uh, we will not add any extra field even we can't able to add any extra field into the child uh, table but the only difference is in proxy model inheritance 
we can add some extra functionalities into our uh, into our child table which we create which we inherit from our base class so the only difference is that because let's let's check the example of this so as you can see we have one base class person and uh, one child class my person uh, so now in the in that we have added proxy is equal to true property into meta class and also added one extra functionality um, extra property that is ordering is equal to first name so we are ordering this model, uh, mod, uh, objects of the model based on the first name so now uh, what will the what will be the, what will happen is uh, whatever we change into this my person will also get reflected into person table and vice versa like if we change anything into this person table then all that that will reflected into this uh, this my person table so this is interconnected you can assume so why this is happening because we have added proxy is equal to true property so now let me let me show you so i just uh, uncomment this and uh, now i will comment this uh, proxy table code proxy model code okay so now we need to register this person and my person into admin uh, okay person and my person okay so now i'll just register those person and my person okay so now i will uh, i will make migrations make migrations so I, before that let's uh, remove the caches okay so now let me migrate this okay so now let's run the server let's check this is reflecting or not as you can see two tables got created and uh, now let's go into this so i have already added some uh, some values into this so now let me add some uh, extra values so if we say raj and parmar okay uh, we are creating my person object as you can see so as you can see we have added one uh, uh, one object into my person table now i will go into person table so as you can see that also got created into this okay and if i'll change anything like ras to uh, ram and if i'll save this then if i'll go back into my person table as you can see ram got uh, created ram got reflected here so in both we are getting ram so this is the difference uh, like this is the idea like how we can use this proxy model uh, inheritance in django so i hope you understood the difference between uh, this three inheritance let me go back and let's do some quick revision on that so first abstract base class so in this our base class table will not get created only uh, whatever classes which is inheriting the base class will get created into the database okay so this is the one kind of property of this uh, abstract base class inheritance second one multi table inheritance so in this we uh like uh, all the all the table will get created whatever like if uh, base class will also get created and child class also will get created proxy model inheritance uh, we will not we we are not able to add any extra fields into the child table but uh, if we want to add some extra uh, functionalities uh, into the child table like we want to add some ordering or we want to add some default manager settings then we can add that properties into the child table uh notice that we are not able to add any extra fields into proxy model uh, inheritance tables okay so if sub, some child class is inheriting the base class then we are not able to add any extra field into proxy model inheritance so that is the key differences between these three models i hope you understood if you did then please do subscribe the channel and press on the like button thank you i'll see you in the next video bye bye